I I naturally don't take any pressure. So in general, I I always like playing in the UAE. So I first played my no, that was in 2013. I played World Youth in Allen. So that was my first tournament outside of India. And I had a good time there. I enjoyed playing. And then I played in 2016 Dubai Open and 2018 Abu Dhabi. And I played a lot of tournaments in UAE. And I always enjoy here. And one thing I, which I really love is the fact that there's no 40 more There's 90 plus 30 and it ends. And I love that time control. So that's one of the reasons why I love playing in UAE. And Abu Dhabi in particular, yeah, so I played in 2018. I scored my final GM now and became a GM then. In 2019, I actually wanted to play, but unfortunately I had a leg injury, so I had to take rest and couldn't play. And it didn't happen in 2020 and 2021. And in 2022, I returned and it went excellently well. Even I myself didn't expect it to go this well. So I'm very happy. Okay, so you didn't expect uh, winning the tournament? In okay. I had the ambition to win, but I didn't expect with such a commanding performance. So I scored seven and half out of nine, and seven of my opponents were about 2600. So it's not easy to beat a player who's 2600 plus, and I beat four of them. So, uh, so after the third round itself, I I was in joint lead. So I was already starting to think about the final standings and everything. I told myself not to and just take one game at a time. But it's very hard to not think, especially when you are in lead. But I was not confident as such that I would win the tournament because there were still a lot of rounds to go and in fact after round 5, Robson had a sole lead. I think after round 6, no round 5. So it, it was never clear but after winning the 8th game against Wang Hao, I had a half point lead and I thought there were pretty good chances that I would win. But I could still not be 100% sure because let's say I drew the last round and Jordan or Robson won and I would have finished second because I didn't have the best type there. Yeah, so chess, I always enjoy playing. I think that's one big factor because it's something that I enjoy doing. So, so I don't get bored of it or tired of it. So I can do it non non-stop without any break. And let's say if it's something else, or something else that I don't enjoy as much, let's say cricket or something. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to do it this much because I don't enjoy the sport. So you're not a cricket fan? Uh, no, not particularly. Okay. So how do you keep, keep fit? Like, do, do you, I mean, do you exercise or do you do sports? Uh, yeah. Yes, so until 2021, I never took that part seriously in my life. But in 2021, so I had a tournament in Riga. Grand Swiss. So in one of the games, it lasted for so long, it was like an 8 hour long game or 7 hours, something like this. And towards the end, I was just extremely tired. I could, uh, I knew I should make it though, but I just couldn't think and I didn't play well and lost. That was not, not due to my chest, but that was due to lack of fitness. So I realized that I should be having more endurance. So after that, uh, I'm still not regular, but I do... I do some basic workouts at home. Uh, workouts? Yeah. So you don't do sports? You just make uh, I don't do any sport. I don't get much time either. But I just do some very basic workouts to f keep yeah. myself endured. So you mentioned you, you had a foot injury. So is that due to Yeah, sports? so that was not due to sports. So once uh, I, I fell down in a flight. It's oh. a bit strange, oh. but this happened. And so later when, when I got a surgery, so I was told that my bones in general are a bit uh, loose, so if I'm not careful, they can get displaced very easily. So yeah, that's not due to sports, it's just a thing. Okay. I think that comes from my parents. So they are extremely calm in general. And they tell me emotional balance is the most important thing. And so that's probably where it comes from. So since my childhood, I, I don't show much emotions you know, in the public. I, I naturally don't take any pressure. 
I don't know how if there's any specific thing or something. It just is very natural to me. And also it works as pot- positive motivation, you know, when a lot of chess fans, they they come to see you, they come, they would be like asking for a pick or in, uh, autograph or something. It's very motivating. It even motivates me further to play even better. So there's only positive effect. There's no pressure or anything of that sort. Do you do like yoga or something like that? Oh, I used to do when I was a kid. I used to be very regular, but I stopped it. And nowadays I do meditate a very little bit, but not not very often. Yeah, so the thing is, see, I, I broke into 2300s in 2016 February. I was dated 2379. And since then, it was a very topsy-turvy journey. So I was gaining a little bit, I was losing a little bit, I was gaining, losing. So from 2016 February to until 2017 December, I was stuck in 2300. So at that point, I was really not sure if I even should continue playing chess because uh, I was in 10th grade in my studies and I wasn't sure which one to pick chess or that. And also I was not doing particularly well in chess. But um we were counting on like me playing well in the upcoming upcoming tournaments and in 2018 so i think by that point i already gained the strength, got stronger and per- perhaps i had the strength of a gm probably so my strength just started showing in 2018 i think by that point although my rating didn't uh, increase as such but i think my strength had grown and in 2018 that's the year when my ratings and titles also broke so yeah in 2018 no i think I, <laughs> the work that i had done earlier just paid off was helping you uh, oh, so then my coach was viktor mikhailovsky from israel i still oh. keep in touch with him yeah so 2018 it was going quite well until then and i was quite excited it, it's a very strong tournament and i wanted to make my gm norms but it turned out um, my my visa agent he made a vis- mistake while applying for my uae visa so my visa didn't get sanctioned in time so it had to be reapplied and that took one extra day so because of which i had to miss the first round so i was quite sad about it because i think my norm chance chances were already gone because you have to play at least nine games or something like this but i thought at least i can try to gain rating that should be fun and i gained some seven or eight year if i remember correctly so i remember not being so sad about it so since 2018 i think i improved a lot as a chess player so in 20 i think it's a same very similar thing again uh in since 2019 i have been stuck around 2500 since uh, until 2021 but i think i i just gained a strength but my ratings were not showing so in 2022 when uh, in 2021 july when the when we got to play after the pandemic I played a lot of tournaments and that uh, I gave, gained a lot of rating so which which gave me a lot of confidence I think that's one big thing which has changed sin- since 2018 in 2018 I was not so confident mentally now my mind st- mindset is very strong I always go for top I always go for gold but not silver and so yeah I, mentally I think I became quite strong until 2018 i hardly worked on openings i just had some files and i used to follow them but now i uh, i think in 2020 or 2021 i started to work on openings i check with engine a lot and i i try to find ideas in a lot of different openings and i think that's one aspect where i improved them immensely So I used to have this tendency of uh, underestimating my opponent in a first round and not playing well and sometimes it really used to affect because uh, some some players are really underrated and or they can just have a good day or something and 
this used to affect me a lot i used to draw with some 18 and this or sometimes even lose this used to happen so i told myself no matter whom i'm playing i give the player a certain amount of respect that he or she deserves and play try to play my a game i wouldn't just play it relax in a relaxing mode